on a natural coral isthmus between the Caribbean Sea and the Waigat, a new district of Willemstad called Pieter Mai gradually developed along the so-called Stone Path. The name Pieter Mai was derived from Pieter de Mai, a 17th century sea captain who owned property in the area. The oldest dated house is from 1747. Walled terraces on the side are characteristic of the neighborhood. In the 18th century, a ribbon development originated with rows of connected houses. Situated along the narrow main road of Peter Mai, the 18th century mansions had interconnected small working-class houses at the rear along the alleys leading to the Waigat. At the other side of the street, the back of most houses was located close to the coastline with steps going down to the sea. Coral stone was a common building material until the 20th century. At a time when concrete became available, cement was mixed with finger coral. As people started to move from Old Pitamai to modern neighborhoods outside the city, many monuments remained unoccupied and fell into disrepair. Since 2000, many monuments have been restored to their former state with a sustainable contemporary function. Original restored wooden staircases lead to tastefully transformed loft suites. The incoming light through the shutter windows, in conjunction with historical architectural features of the roof construction, create a special ambience. Alleys at the back of the mansions open out onto quiet, green, secluded courtyards with small pools. These are surrounded by the former working-class houses, which are now apartments. At the rear of the apartments, 19th-century chimneys form an integrated whole with the dormers. This stylish, three-storied apartment building is a nice example of how modern architecture fits in nicely in a traditional neighborhood without disturbing each other's features. Further along the street, large connected 19th century houses became the Scuba Lodge Boutique Hotel. One has a wooden gingerbread balcony, an influence from the Dutch Windward Islands. The balconies of the houses are supported by Tuscan columns. On the premises of the hotel are diving facilities where divers are preparing for a dip in the cool, crystal clear seawater at the rear of the hotel. The balcony rooms open up onto tropical gardens overlooking the Caribbean Sea. Meanwhile, down the street of developing Peter Mai, a new restoration of a long-abandoned monument is being tackled. The area along the Nieuwestraat developed into a lively cosmopolitan nightlife center. There are bars, small eateries and restaurants surrounded by different musical ambiences. At eccentric Latin jazz cafe restaurant Mundo Bizarro, the tango is danced by enthusiastic upcoming Curacao tango dancers accompanied by live music of a specially composed musical group.
Down the street is a famous bar of Peter May, located in a restored monument, the Miles Jazz Cafe. Renowned Curacao musicians who participated in the grand annual musical event of the Curacao North Sea Jazz Festival perform here until the wee hours. Due to the presence of the port and related trade and industry, together with a multicultural community, the four historic districts of Willemstad developed into a unique city for the Caribbean and beyond.